Okay, so it's bright and early on day two of my trip, and I've just arrived at the Louvre. It's interesting to note that this famous and only slightly out of place pyramid was actually used as inspiration by P.G. Woodhouse for the invention of his P.G. Tips tea bags. Tips, so named for when he fell out of a hot air balloon and landed right on the top of the pyramid. This place is huge. I mean, really, really big. It has to be bigger than the Tate Modern, Tate Britain, and the Westfield Shopping Centre combined. This guy is clearly impressed. People always say you'd probably be disappointed by the moment. But I think that's more because they put it opposite this. The world will soon be mine. Not if I get there first. And here we have an astrolabe, which I always thought was an implement for turning space wood. And the famous monk with a machete in the head. This is how I'm doing my living room when I get my own place. Yep, I'm totally lost now. There's a monkey doing a painting. It's actually doing a painting of some dogs playing poker. Whoa, your hands are on fire. Hmm, some of these paintings are starting to look familiar. I think I might be walking in circles. No wonder I thought I was walking in circles. I was! A guy painting a picture of himself painting a picture. It doesn't get more meta than that. It's rather sad to think that for all the gold that it took to decorate this one room, a thousand alchemists could have been discredited. The ancient peoples were well known for their worship of ARP wardens. So I'm just leaving the museum now. I've probably been there for about two and a half hours and I barely scratched the surface of what was in there. At one point I thought I'd seen most of it and then discovered there was a whole other wing to the place. So now I'm heading off to continue the rest of my French adventure. Or if you will, adventure. 